What's going on, you beauties? Thank you for tuning in for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And today I'll be reviewing a craft beer by Hops, Hop Works Brewing Company. And um, Simo Sup sent me this good old Simo Sup. He's also uh, got a channel about beer. Check him out. Um, it's called Incognito Palau. Yeah, Simo sent me a box of beer, and this is one of the beers that come in the box. They're all, all by the Hopworks Brewing Company. What I like about these guys is they put their craft beer in 500ml cans. No messing about. More uh, craft brewers should do the same thing, if you ask me. And then, um, you know, you want a full beer, didn't you? It's near enough a pint by the time you sort of include the head in that. So I deal with it. This is brewed using Sabro hops and uh, Citra. Uh, so yeah, let's crack it open and see what it's all about. 4.6% ABV, this one. Never tried anything by the brewery before. So I'm breaking the old Hopworks Brewing Company of Virginity. Broke a few virginities recently. All right, let's chuck it in the glass. I gotta say, it is looking fantastic on the pour. Give it a little swell. There we go, a nice 500ml can. That's what we like to see, guys. Look, that's what you want. None of these 440 bollocks. That looks banging in the glass. Absolutely fantastic looking. It looks like pineapple juice almost. Hazy. It's hazy. It's like a murky, yellowy pineapple juice colour with a piercingly white, beautiful head. Yeah, it does look absolutely cracking. Can't see much carbonation going on in this one. It looks fairly flat. Uh, let's get the nose in there and check out the aromas of this incognito palau. It smells very tropical, very juicy, very inviting. Really ripe smelling fruits. Bit of like, stone fruit in there as well. Like lemon and lime zest. Smells fantastic. Nice stone fruits. Really, really fresh smelling. Oh, I think I'm going to like this one. If it looks anywhere near as good as it looks, because it looks top, top draw, if you ask me. I think these go for about 3 54 quid a can. And if you buy like a box of eight or whatever, it probably works out a little bit cheaper, by the way. But, you know... That is expensive. Let's, not everybody can afford that sort of price, but at least you're getting a big can, in you? But let's hope it tastes good and it's not just a big can of old shit. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. That's fantastic. Very, very nice. What I like about this, it's very well balanced straight away. The first thing that stands out to me is not too much of anything. It's not too much of a juice bomb. It's not too citrusy. It's not too bitter. It just hits everything at a very consistent balanced level, including the mouthfeel. It's like medium bodied to me with a nice sort of smoothness to that mouthfeel, almost creamy like. And where you've got really low, for me, you've got really low levels of carbonation in this which are really helping that mouth feel and uh, I think there may be some oats or something in here just giving it a nice nice thick creamy mouth feel very very refreshing very easy drinking this would be great for a session for me 4.6% ABV you know it's got a bit about it about being too strong to session initially Getting sort of tropical fruits and stone fruit blend, I would say. Very, like, they're not strong. They're there. Slightly watery, perhaps, if I was to sort of try and critique it, you know. And then you get hit with a zesty citrus. It's like a lemon and lime zest blend with a touch of grapefruit. Very, very nice. They stand out a bit more than the like, fruits for me. And that citrus is giving off sort of a medium level bitterness, light to medium maybe. 
It's not all that bitter, but it's just bitter enough to cut through the uh, sweetness of the fruits. This is a very nice beer. I mean, the citrus is really nice. It's not overly citrusy uh, for those people that don't want to be proper nuked by it. But it's just the right amount for me. And my favourite thing about this beer would be just how well balanced it is, how easy drinking it is. Nice, refreshing one for the summer. Um, that bitterness is slightly drying as well. It just sort of leaves a little dryness on your mouth. It just makes you want to jump in and get yourself wet again. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent beer. I don't think it's like top, top draw compared to other beers I've tried, like craft beers and that. But it's up there. It's decent. Perhaps I would like just a touch more of them ripe tropical fruits on the on the start. Because um, they're being slightly overpowered, just slightly by the citra. But other than that, it's, it's top draw. I mean, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's good. I think I love the can, the size of the can. The can art's nice and colourful, like different splashy colours on there. It's a decent beer. I'm looking forward to trying more. Uh, thank you again, once again, to Simo for sending it to me. Uh, it's very enjoyable, mate. I'm going to take my time with the rest of it off camera and just indulge. I'm not just going to smash it down my neck because I want to enjoy it. Uh, yeah, 8 out of 10 from me. Uh, hit the like button if you made it this far and consider subscribing to the channel for more beer reviews. And uh, yeah, give Simo uh, sub subscribe to Simo Subs as well. I can remember I put a link to his channel in the description to make it easier for you. He's a top guy. And uh, till next one, bye bye, darlings.